If you think you need a GPU enabled development board or SOM for your AI toaster, robot or intergalactic space cruiser, chances are you will be looking at NVIDIA Jetson series. But the more you look, the more confused you get. Which one do I choose? Xavier? Which one? Nano? Orin? Orin Nano? Let me explain all of that to you. No bullshit, straight to the point, and stick around for an important update from NVIDIA GTC 2024. We're gonna start with dinosaurs. All right, not literal dinosaurs, but rather Jetson TK, TX1, TX2, and to a certain extent Jetson Nano. Those were the first attempts of NVIDIA to get into edge computing as far as 2014. Big deal at that time, now not as much. Floating point-only computation, no deep learning accelerators. Jetson Nano and its cousin, Jetson Nano 2GB, were a little bit of a special kids on the block. NVIDIA tried to capture the low cost segment of the market, but it looks like it did not work out because no next generation low cost board were developed after that. Short message from my algorithmic overlords at YouTube. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. Xavier's uh, made the video about Xavier and X when it just came out, completely mispronounced its name. Awkward. Unlike the Nano series, which was aimed at hobbyists and students, Xavier series was meant to replace the TX1 and TX2 modules for industrial customers, building robots, drones, and other AI-enabled devices. AGX placed a strong emphasis on automotive, and it was certainly a beast at the time, with 512 NVIDIA Voltage GPU cores and two NVDLA or deep learning accelerators. In total, it delivered 32 tops of compute power in its maximum configuration. It was also pricey as hell. Xavier NX, SOM and development kits, they offered a little bit less compute, only 21 tops, but also they had lower price point and smaller footprint. In 2022, Nvidia announced the Orin series, which came as updated versions of the boards I talked earlier about. Orin Nana, Orin NX, and Orin AGX. They all use new Ampere architecture GPU and deliver five to eight times more compute power than the previous generation SOMs. Orin Nano 4 GB is the lowest tier in this lineup. It only has 512 Ampere GPU cores and none of the deep learning accelerators. Orin Nano 8 GB, this is the version that's in a developer kit, by the way, it not only has more RAM, but also has double the amount of GPU cores, so it offers more compute as well. Orin Next also comes in two variants, 8GB and 16GB. The main difference between them, apart from, of course, the amount of available RAM, is the deep learning accelerators. The 8GB version has one, while 16GB version has two, and VDLA version two deep learning accelerators. Finally, AGX Orin boards, they have double the amount of GPU cores as compared to an X Orin, depending on the configuration, and also they have faster GPU and CPU clocks. And what about Jetson Thor, which was unveiled at GTC 2024 in Jetson's keynote speech? There are really few details available as of now. We know that it includes next-generation GPU based on NVIDIA Blackwell architecture. We know that it's optimized for transformer inference. It delivers 800 teraflops of 8-bit floating-point performance to run multimodal generative AI models like Brutes. We do not know yet the price point or the exact hardware specs. Which one do you choose for your project? For the older modules, if you still get them on for free or really low price, why not? If you're doing something for yourself, something like home automation, you're just trying to learn about edge AI and embedded systems and building some DIY robots, it's okay to still get Jetson Nano. It's only slightly more expensive than Raspberry Pi, but it does have a GPU for neural network inference and it has a decent amount of RAM too. The only serious disadvantage that you need to keep in mind is that there are no actual software updates to the module, so it's kind of stuck in the past. Xavier NX and Xavier AGX, a little bit of a gray zone here, in my opinion. On the one hand, they're still pretty capable, specs-wise, but Nvidia does not put that much effort into developing new features for them now when Orin is the main player on the stage. So I would not recommend developing a new product based on those modules. And if you're working on a project just for yourself as a DIY thing, 
you need to keep in mind that the developer kits for Xavier NX and Xavier AGX, they have reached end of life and not produced anymore. If you're a hobbyist and you need a board with a lot of compute, then go for Orin Nana developer kit, which is based on Orin Nana AGB. A lot of newer generative AI examples at Jetson AI Lab, they are based and benchmarked for Orin Nana AGB, which is great. You will need an or in NX or, or in AGX, only in case you want to run multiple models at the same time instead of the edge device. If you want to try to use it more as a server, running the inference on the video or images or text from multiple clients, or if you want to use it for running inference with large language models, 35 billion parameters, 70 billion parameters. In that case, you'll need much more RAM and much more compute so yes, NX or AGX are recommended in that regard. That advice pretty much also goes to people who want to use SOMs for product development. Then after that initial testing, you might be able to find the ways to downscale your application and use a cheaper SOM, which is usually not available as a developer kit, but can only be purchased as SOM. Speaking about downsizing, there are large language models and there are small language models. Check out the video about benchmarking one of them on Raspberry Pi.